It's a privilege for us to present the final award of the evening. The films we honor tonight inspired us, touched our emotions, gave us hope and joy, and may even have changed our thinking. And the Academy Award for Best Picture. You're impossible. Come on. La La Land. Damien Chazelle, we're standing on your shoulders. We lost, by the way, but, you, know you know. Guys, guys, I'm sorry. No, there's a, this, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. This is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Moonlight, Best Picture. Very clearly, very clearly, even in my dreams, this could not be true. But to hell with dreams. I'm done with it, because this is true. Oh, my goodness. I remember watching all of this unfold live on television and just being so utterly confused as to how something like this could happen. But that night, Moonlight took home the Best Picture Oscar. And to be perfectly honest, I was a bit disappointed. At the time I had not seen the film, and the film that I had loved the most from that year, La La Land, had kind of been screwed out of its award. It was only a couple years later when I finally decided to watch Moonlight that I realized that I had been so incredibly wrong. Yes, La La Land is a pretty f fantastic film, but if we're talking in terms of importance and greatness, Moonlight has it in the bag. And that's why it deserves to be celebrated. Hi, and welcome to yet another edition of Movie Club. I'm your host and curator, Patrick Smith. I am delighted to welcome you once again to another fantastic screening. This is the final screening currently of our series, Black Voices in Cinema. And I cannot honestly think of a better way to go out than this incredible motion picture. It's one of my favorites of all time, and I think once you sit back and relax and enjoy it, you'll realize just how important this film is to our current conversation. Moonlight is the 2017 Best Picture winner based off of Terrell McCraney's incredible play in Moonlight, Black Boys Look Blue. I think another thing that's really worth discussing based off of this is that Barry Jenkins is a fantastic director and especially a great adapter of previously existing material. He did this with both Moonlight, this incredible feature, and his next film, If Bill Street Could Talk, which is based off another fantastic James Baldwin novel, which if you haven't read or haven't seen, those are also great and worthy of being put on your list. This film is yet another huge win for A24, but it's also an incredible win for Barry Jenkins, who was elevated immediately to the limelight with this incredible feature. And it just proves how great he is as a writer for cinema and a brilliant visual stylist. His work can often be seen as poetic and musical and moving. And I think you'll see how meditative and how brilliant he puts these incredible pieces together as he moves you through these stories in a way that feels both natural and inevitable. Moonlight is a coming-of-age drama that forces us to have some deep conversations about the nature of identity as our main character goes through three major phases of his life and tries to deal with the intersectionality of his identities and how he fits into multiple communities. I don't think there could be a better way to express this than through the incredible empathy machines that are films. And Barry Jenkins is well aware of that and utilizes this to a great degree. 
I think it's a struggle that we can all relate to, but it's a struggle that I think is especially pertinent for the black community right now, especially in America. Notably in the awards category, not only did Moonlight win Best Picture this year, Mahershala Ali also won an award for his acting this film, making him the first Muslim to win an acting Oscar ever. The entire cast and crew here deserves to be commended for their effort for creating an incredible piece of art that will stand the test of time. So instead of wasting too much time dissecting and trying to understand the importance of this film, if you haven't got it already, I'm just going to encourage you to sit back, get comfortable, and remove any distractions from around you, and try and stay seated throughout this entire feature. You're about to watch a master at work in Barry Jenkins, because he's one of the best working directors right now. And if you don't believe me now, I can assure you, you'll believe it after this film. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it tonight as we screen the 2017 Best Picture winner, Moonlight.